The students of My Hero Academia have quite a bit in common. From their similar design approaches to the hatred of UA High students that non-UA kids share, there's no shortage of neat trivia concerning the student characters of the hit series. Which is why we decided to take a look at some of these shared traits. Without further ado, let's run down the list of all the strange rules My Hero Academia students have to follow. Unique Hair Chalk this first one up to the nature of anime, but it's still worth pointing out that every My Hero Academia student, especially those in Class 1A, have incredibly unique hairstyles. Let's run down the list, shall we? There's Izuku Midoriya, who has a big fluffy mess of dark green curls. Bakugo has an equally fluffy mess of spikes. Ochako has a very uncommon short bob with light side thingies. Mineta has this weird grape head thing going on, and so on and so forth. Nearly every student has a unique hairstyle, and even if it's not unique from other characters or anime series, it's still eccentric and uncommon in real life. This applies to the other students of UA as well. Since Mirio Toga has a very Tintin-styled haircut, Itsuka Kando has her side ponytail going on, and Ibarra Shiozaka's whole deal is that she has vines for hair. That could also apply to the pro heroes of the series, since All Might has his weird bunny ear bangs things going on. Some other examples of students with their unique hairstyles include Shoji, who has a weird downward point thing, Kirishima, who has so much spikiness going on, and of course Todoroki, who has his half-white, half-red hair representing his hybrid quirk. Designs different from original Before there was My Hero Academia, there was My Hero, a one-shot manga meant to gather interest in the series, the manga equivalent of a pilot episode. This one shot shared a lot with the final version of the series, but there's one aspect that differed significantly from My Hero Academia, the designs. Both the designs for My Hero and the original concept art for My Hero Academia differ greatly from how the characters turned out, especially in regards to the students. Take a look at some of these designs. You'll find that Deku was much more scraggly looking, with his hero costume appearing to be far more disturbing than its current iteration. Bakugo was mostly the same as he is now, but Kohei Horikoshi's art style has changed a bit since the character's inception. Other examples of designs that changed are Momo, who had a much different hero costume in her concept art. Kaminari, who looked like a disturbing hedgehog man in his original iteration. Minashido, who was much less bubbly and more mythical creature looking. And Ida Tenya, who originally looked and acted like a delinquent and had a horrifying concept design. Suffice it to say, the students of My Hero Academia went through a lot of design changes. 1A Targeted by Villains While we're sure that the current pro heroes of My Hero Academia went through their fair share of trials when they were students, we doubt it compares to the current students of Class 1A, who seem to be attacked by villains on a monthly basis. We're exaggerating, of course, but the point is that Class 1A has been hit by villain attacks on three different occasions. Four if you count Deku, Ida, Momo, and Todoroki's rescue mission. There was the first attack at USJ, the attack at the training camp, and Himiko Toga's infiltration of the hero license exams. Each of these attacks were conducted by the League of Villains, who surprisingly have only attacked UA High School. Anyway you look at it, all of the students of Class 1A have been attacked by villains and or had to defend against a villain attack. In fact, it's practically a must during every arc, which makes sense, seeing as there needs to be more conflict in the series beyond the trials and tribulations of Superhero High School. But still, Class 1A can't seem to catch a break. Personality Quirks you don't have to look hard to realize that every single student in My Hero Academia, on top of having a superpower quirk, has some kind of eccentric personality quirk. Every single one of these kids has got at least one kind of screw loose, one trait that sticks out in every one of their actions. For Midoriya, it's his superhero nerdiness, the part of him that can't help but mumble out statistics, hero facts, and other detailed information in stressful situations. For Bakugo, it's his, uh everything about him, since he's a violent, loud, brash, and petty garbage boy. His personality is counteracted by both Deku as well as Shoto Todoroki, who's ridiculously calm and quiet. Moving on to Tenya Ida, the class rep can't help but stick to his rule-loving ways and has a tendency to move his arms wildly to emphasize his points. Momo Yaoyorotsu isn't quite as eccentric as Tenya, but she does have the personality quirk of constantly forgetting how rich she is in relation to others. Another example of an eccentric personality trait, if you want to call it that, is Minoru Mineta's beyond terrible perverted behavior. As you can see, the students of My Hero Academia seem to all have some quirky eccentric personality trait. 1A are trouble magnets. Some of the characters in 1A are pretty good students, some not so much. We're looking at you, remedial class. 
But no matter what grades they get, pretty much all of them are guilty of disobeying the rules and teachers in some capacity. The usual suspects are, of course, Izuku and Bakugo, who most recently got in trouble for fighting on school grounds, earning themselves extra chores as a result. Deku also went against both his teachers and the law when he, Tenya Todoroki, and Momo went on a rescue mission to get Bakugo back. The rest of the class also breaking the rules by covering up their actions. Even if they're not directly disobeying authority figures or the rules, the students of 1A are basically trouble magnets, standing at the center of every conflict in the series. Obviously, this is because Deku is the main character, and thus his class is involved in pretty much every conflict he comes across, but the point still remains that the students of 1A all tend to get into trouble at some point. Funny Fan Nicknames If you've spent a few minutes in the My Hero Academia circles of the internet, you'll find that a lot of fans have given the characters of the series comedic nicknames, something that is more or less exclusive to the students at UA. These nicknames are the result of either a character's real name not being revealed right away, leading fans to come up with guesses, be it serious or comedic, or a result of the character's actions, personality, appearance, and other factors. Some of our favorites include Deku being called the absolute madman for his progressively impressive actions throughout the series, Siro being called Daft Punk due to his hero costume helmet, Tokoyami being called Chocobro since he looks like a darker version of the Chocobos from Final Fantasy, Koda being called Sad Rock because of his rock-like head and sad expressions, and Shoto Todoroki being called Icy Hot in reference to his powers in the Pain Relief product. Additionally, Bakugo is sometimes referred to as Bomberman in reference to his powers and the popular video game character. Daku wearing his All Might hoodie as a kid is adorably referred to as Small Might. Hate for UA Amongst the many things that all the students of 1A have in common is the fact that they're all despised by other superhero high schools. We're not exaggerating here, folks. It's made pretty clear by both the crushing of UA at the provisional hero license exams and by characters like Yoshindo that UA is pretty disliked, many seeing them as the snooty school with too much funding and too much forgiveness for their mistakes. This is part of why the crushing of UA happens every year at the provisional license exam, the other reason being another thing that all the students of UA have in common. Their quirks, strengths, and weaknesses are public knowledge. This was due to the fact that their sports festival was televised, making them easy targets as all of the other hero schools collectively teamed up to take them down, their dislike for them and their easy target status leading to a tough exam for UA students. Quirk Appearance The next rule could be applied to a large number of characters in the series, but since it also applies to the students, we're gonna count it. Of course, we're referring to the fact that a lot of the students in the series have some part of their appearance that reflects their quirk. Some examples of this include Bakugo's hair looking like a spiky explosion, Kaminari's thunderbolt hair streak, and Shoto Todoroki's red and white hair reflecting his half-hot, half-cold quirk. Some of these design traits are big and obvious, like Suya's frog-like qualities and green hair, Shoji's multiple arms, and Ojiro's tail. Even those without a physical trait relating to their powers have some kind of costume design element that references their quirk, as any good superhero costume design should do. For Tokoyami, his cloak gives him a shadow-like appearance. For Ochiko, her outfit gives off the feeling of a spacesuit. And for Tenya, he has muscle car design elements all over his costume. Girls' hair, boys' mutations. While we're on the subject of student appearances, there's another pattern that all the students seem to follow in regards to their appearance reflecting the quirk in some way. In nearly every case of a student having a trait that communicates their quirk, it's only the boys that get to have a full-body mutation. While most of the girls only get to have some strange hairstyle or something. It's not true of every student character, Suya being one of the exceptions, but by and large, the girls are meant to remain cute and human-looking, while those with extreme quirk mutations are usually male. In some cases, boys will have just crazy hair, but it still stands that all those with physical quirk mutations tend to be males. Suffice it to say, the general rule for students with quirk reflecting appearances seem to be that boys get full mutations and girls just tend to get wacky weird hair. Unique Reasons for Being Heroes Lastly, we have one of the things that makes My Hero Academia so great, individual motivations for being a hero. In a lot of superhero media, heroes are more or less forced into being a hero by tragedy, a personal experience that drove them to justice, or some kind of moral obligation that came as a result of gaining or having powers that could be used for good. For Izuku, he wants to help people, a simple motivation that's contrasted by characters like Bakugo, who wants to be the best hero that ever lived, or Ochiko, who wants to support her family as a pro hero. Other unique motivations include Tenya's desire to live up to his hero family's legacy, Todoroki wanting to carve his own hero path different from his father's, and even Mineta, whose desire to become a hero derives from wanting to be popular with girls. 
And those were just some of the strange rules the students of My Hero Academia have to follow. Did we leave any out? Do you think the students are actually super distinct from one another? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to CBR for more My Hero Academia videos. Thanks for watching.